Hey, Shalom family, Most High in Christ, bless Officer Abishai with IUIC Indiana. Hey, we need y'all to subscribe. Subscribe to our Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube, our Twitter. Let's get them numbers up and give us a like on the video. Most High Christ, bless. A man taught you all of these things. So the question is, how do we love God? Prove it. No. How? What can I do to prove that I love God? It out. If God don't just want mouth service, if he don't just want me saying, have you accepted Jesus in your heart as your personal Lord and Savior? Now, what as, as a man, without having to be effeminate and crying, in soft insistency of how can I still be a man and still show I love God? Bring it out. Here's how. Watch this. Wake him up. The book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. Bring it out. This is the love of God. Listen good. Here is how you show you love God. It's only one way. Ain't no sugarcoating it. Ain't no getting around it. It don't matter how many Kurt Franklin songs you know by heart. How many Anthony Hamilton albums you done bought. How many tithes and offerings you done gave to these slimy pastors that steal our people money? Bring it out. None of that matter. This that we about to read right now is how you love God. Bring it out. Watch this. That we keep his commandments. Listen, if I have a woman and I beat her but tell her I love her, I clearly don't love her. If you say you love God and not willing to do what God telling you to do, you don't love God. Right. Bring it out. Now, that should be scary to a lot of people. And I'll tell you why. Today is the Lord's Sabbath day. One of God's commandments is that you should not buy and sell on the Sabbath day. Hey. It's a day of rest. Bring it out. You ain't supposed to be out here shopping. Bring you ain't supposed out. to be out here doing your own thing. How many people really love God? How many people pulled up to this plaza right now and just heard that commandment and said, why? I was about to buy something today. I didn't know that. Let me make, let me make it plain. Give me Nehemiah, because I don't want you to think I just made that up. The Bible says we love God if we keep his commandments. That's what the Bible said, right? Let's read what the commandments is. Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 31. This is the book of Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 31. Bring it out. And if the people of the land bring where of any fiddles on the Sabbath day to sin. Let me bring y'all up to speed because you know the Bible is old English. The Bible is saying if the people of the land, the owner of this indie beauty, the owner of this store, the owner of the family dollar, if they bring where and everything to your community to sell, go ahead, that we would not buy it of them. That we would not actually buy those items from them when? On the Sabbath day. What's the day? Today is the Lord's Sabbath day. That's right. Every one of these clothes, every one of these stores is supposed to be closed. Bring it out. Now, here's the difference. There's a judgment for everything that's happening. You want to know why they don't respect us? Because we're not unified on nothing. Bring it out. You want to know why there is no Chinese Trayvon Martin? There is no Japanese Sandra Bland? There is no Asian Tamir Rice? Right. It's because y'all do whatever y'all enemies tell y'all to do. Right. Y'all do whatever y'all oppressors tell y'all. Y'all don't have no type of resistance whatsoever. Bring it out. You yell Black Lives Matter and then turn around and break all of your God's laws and commandments that would be in defiance to their whole system. Bring it out. You yell, uh, we need to have police reform, but then a Negro that's selling drugs in your community, you won't even say nothing to him. Right. So imagine if we took the police out the community. Now what? Now that nigga run the whole community now. Cause you ain't never said nothing to him. You stay next door to him your whole life. You know he sell dope. You ain't man enough to say nothing. Then the white man come in and brutalize the people, innocent or guilty, now you mad. But imagine if you were mad enough to stand up in your own damn community. Right. Right. Imagine if these young men went home to their daddy every day instead of just their mom. Bring it out. Nobody wanna talk about that. Everybody wanna talk about a high value man. He needs to make $100,000. Let me tell you something. Something hit different when you look at a kid and be like, wait till your daddy get home. Right. Uh-huh, okay, you acting up at school yet? Yeah. Wait till I tell your daddy. It's so, how much that cost? How much is that worth in the black household? Bring it right. out. We talking about who can buy a Gucci bag and who can get a Birkin and a nigga need to make 100,000 a year to talk to me. Listen, you got three kids by three different men. Sis, so sit your behind down somewhere. Bring it you out. need a man in your household to help you raise these kids. Bring it out. So we have, 
They create jail based off third grade test scores. You yelling you don't need a man. Meanwhile, your son just failed a test and they just built a cell for his behind the BN by the time he turned 18. Black people, we living in La La Land. We living in La La Land. The other nations is operating in a system and we don't even give a damn. We lining up to buy Jordans. They donate money to Palestine and donate money to Israel and choosing a side in the World War III. We lined up to buy Jordans and hair Bring it out. Bring it out. We oblivious to everything that's happening around us. That's why we out here. That's right. Because our community needs real men. That's really about standing up for the people. That's really about getting the people in order. And listen, God called you to do the same thing and he called you to do the same thing too. Bring it out. Told you to do the exact same thing. Bring Your life up. is much bigger than just you. Right. Your life is much bigger than what you going or coming, filling out a job application. I'm trying to get this car. I'm trying to date this girl. Yeah, I'm a holler at shorty being a DM. Your life bigger than that. Right. They want you entertained by hoes on Instagram and Facebook. Right. right. God wants you in the house raising your sons and daughters. Right. God wants you marrying that woman that you living with. Bring it up. Building a society, building a community. You got to choose which one you want to do. Because living the way our oppressors want us to live got us in this condition right now. Right. Look around. Black people got Arabs selling them chicken. When Arabs start frying chicken? Bring it out. No, I'm serious. When they start frying chicken, you know what they said? If we build it, they will come. Then they give it cool names. Jordan's chicken. No, like hell, their name ain't Jordan. Bring it that up. man, Habib Kassan. Right. Bring it out. But he owned Jordan's chicken. Why? Because it's a cool name for you. It's St. Like George's. I'm going there, give me a 10 piece. Hey. Meanwhile, the black establishment down the street, they wings too high. You can't buy them, they too high. Our mentality when it comes to each other is broken. We divide. God is calling us to keep his commandments and be unified. Hey. God is calling, calling us to change our lives. You know what the Bible calls it? Repentance. That's right. That's it. We as a people, we got to look at ourselves and our people and we got to say the way that we live it ain't right. Right. But you can't want the change and not be the change. Right. No. That's the difference in our community. We will say we won't change all day, every day in our community. But we ourselves don't want to change. Right. Watch this. We said if you love God, then you'll do what? What is it? If you love me, do what? Keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. Right. Bro, I knew you was a smart brother. Come on, man. I knew you were a smart brother. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The Bible says, if you love me, do what I said. Do not your oppressors. What you're going to learn is by you not following your culture, you in all type of sin, you don't even know it. How many people you know that knew that they could not buy a sale according to God on a Saturday? Let's just be real. Most of our people don't even know that. Here's another one our people don't know. Watch this. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Y'all brothers better pay attention because they put me in the skirts left and right. And I know you might think, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm from the old school. I ain't going to never do that. That's cool. Your son will. <laughs> they might not get you because you hard by it. I mean, you grew up in the 80s. You know what I'm saying? In the 90s. 4X t-shirts. You get what I'm saying? You ain't never going to put on a skirt. But your son will. Because all he don't know is men wearing skirts and dresses. Get out. Just like our sisters wear pants today, because all they know is women wearing pants. But they don't know God said this. Watch this. The woman shall not wear that which pertains to a man. God said a woman can't wear what pertains to men. Right. Remember, if you love me, do what? Keep my commandments. Right. This ain't us. This God. Right. God said a woman can't wear what pertains to men. Go ahead. Neither shall a, a man put on a woman's garment. God said, and a man can't put on a woman's garment. So what are some things a man should wear? Dresses, skirts, high heels, panties. Y'all y'all feel the dress. So if I can't wear dresses and skirts, what can I wear? I can wear pants. So if I'm supposed to have on pants, why are sisters wear pants too? Because they are disconnected from their culture. Right. Because they have not been taught how to serve God. Yes, now, man. some of them hear this commandment right now. You know what they're going to do? They're going to go home and put on a different pair of pants. Now you got to ask yourself whether or not you love God. Get out. Because God said, if you love me, you do what? Keep my commandments. 
That's now the only you thing that's left is for you to learn the commandments and keep them. If you love God. Right. Or you can choose not to love God. Right. That's a sad day for a man that don't love God. Get out. Go ahead. For all that do so are abomination to the Lord thy God. So imagine God saying, if you cross dress, you're an abomination. And you just spent 30 years of your life cross dressed. You wonder why your prayers ain't being answered. You wonder why, man, I be giving all this money in church. I'm still poor, all of this stuff. Watch this. Come on, read it's the book of Exodus, chapter 28, verse 42. Yeah. And thou shalt make them linen breeches. This is the men. God commanded the men to make linen breeches. You ever been in the South? What they say? Hey, boy, pull up your breeches. It's the same thing as payments. People make it seem like, no, Hollywood make it seem like in the Bible days, everybody wore dresses. That's a damn lie. That's right. Men had pants in the Bible. We got to let Hollywood go. We got to start reading for ourselves again. Go ahead. To cover their nakedness uh -huh. from their loins, even unto the thighs, they shall reach. Listen, so your pants was long. Now they go all the way down to the foot. Bring it out. You get what I'm saying? So what are we saying? We are the Israelites. Give me uh, Matthew 26. We are the Israelites, brothers. And it's time to return to your culture. Come up out of these Christian churches. Come up out of these Muslim mosques. Ain't none of that for you. You are an Israelite by blood. You got your own God. You got your own ceremonies. You got your own commandments. You got your own things to unify your people. You want to know why ain't nothing being fixed in a, in a black community? Because the God of Christianity don't have no solutions for the black community. The God of the Muslims don't have no solution for the black community. That's why our brothers can be flooded in Christianity. Our sisters can be flooded in Christianity and Muslim mosques, but our community never changes. Yeah. When you start living as an Israelite, it's forced change in your community. That's right. Right. Now, all of a sudden, when a community was full with single parent household, because men was just sleeping from woman to woman, making them baby mamas. Now, as an Israelite, you commanded to marry a woman you have sex with. Uh, what is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with.